Well, good morning, folks. Uh, Pen and Journal here. Uh, I'm gonna talk about a uh, gift that was gifted to me from my father-in-law. Uh, and it's a set of Parker Jotters. And these are, these are, uh, these were a gift to him from a company he worked for. And these, I think these are probably from the 90s, 1990s, I would say. Uh, and it's a, it's a set, it's a set of Parker Jotter. It's a Parker Jotter ink pen and a Parker Jotter lead pencil. It's a set. So he, 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 know, he, he knows that I like, I like the Parker Jotter ink pen. So he, he gifted these. He gave these to my daughter to give to me. So I was just going to kind of go over them, compare them to, compare them to today's jotter. Uh, and this is, this is one of my jotters. This is the first Parker jotter that I ever owned. Uh, I've had it a while. I don't know, 2000, early, mid 2000s, I guess. That's all stainless. Uh, this is the first one I owned. My daughter gave it to me for Christmas, I believe, or either Christmas or my birthday. And I do have a I do have a Parker Jotter lead pencil to match. Uh, so I was just going to compare these. These these are the ones that's made in France. All three of these are made in France. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to compare these. Uh, both of these, these are actually American made. These are American jotters. Uh, I don't know when, I don't know when they, they kept quit making them here. Uh, it's hard to, you can't hardly see it. It's hard to see. But right up here says made in USA. Uh, so this is the, this is the ink pen and this is the pencil. Uh, so you can see, uh, one of the one of the differences that I noticed on the ink pen uh, and on the on the lead pencil also, one of the first things I, I did notice comparing them that the USA made the older one here is a little longer. It's a little longer, and the pocket clip, if you can see. The pocket clip is longer. On the the new the the USA made pocket clip is longer than the newer jotter. Uh, also, the top of the clicking mechanism, or whatever you want to call it, I don't know. It's 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 got an indention in it, and it's got the Parker logo on the inside. If you can see. I'm not sure if you can see it good, but compared to this, the new ones, it's just got a kind of a rounded top. It's smooth, which I do like. Uh, this one has a nice click, but this one, it seems like the newer one has a crisper, crisper click. This has a click. This is an older pen, so. Uh, USA made, this is made in France. Uh, another thing that I noticed right off is is the diameter of the pins. You can see the new one here, the one made in France, is it's a little it's a little bigger on the diameter. Also, you'll notice you can see you can see the brass threads in here. So this this was. A little better quality pen, which these are good quality too. I'm not knocking them, but they have a plastic insert in them. Uh, kind of hard to see because it's it's black, but uh, it's uh, you can also see the top part. The top part is is longer. And I think that's what makes it makes it longer because the, the actual bottom part 
the barrel on the USA made one is shorter than the one made in France, the newer ones. But it, this pin is still longer. Uh, it's got a, it's got a Parker, it's got a Parker, uh, refill in it. It doesn't say quick flow. I don't see anywhere it says quick flow on it. Uh, but it does say, it does say made in USA. So it's a USA made uh, ink refill. The uh, France made, one's made in France. It's got, it's got, uh, it's got made in France on it somewhere. If I can find it here. There it is. You can see it. It's got made in France on it. Uh, so then it, it also says um, um, quick flow. These are the quick flow cartridges. I don't, I didn't see quick flow on the USA made one. Maybe I think it's something newer they came out with uh, on the USA made, but you see the, the, the ink cartridges are basically the same. The black one came from the USA made one. The blue one is from the, uh, that came, the blue one actually came with this one. This is the newest jotter I have. So the blue one came with it. Uh, so you'll see the difference. You'll see the difference in, uh, so you can see the difference here in the diameter. Uh, and the quality, the quality of the ones made in France, you know, can't complain. Uh, they're still good quality, but I just thought it was cool that I, that my daddy-in-law gave me a USA made Parker set of Parkers. Uh, and this thing, this thing still writes. It, uh, it, it, it still, as old as this is, you know, 30 some odd years or more, uh, it still, It's still, uh, it still writes. You can see it still writes. So that's pretty neat that the ink still works. I'm probably going to replace it. I'm not, I'm not going to carry these pens. I may write with them at home, but I'm not going to EDC these pens and pencil because they was a gift to me for my daddy-in-law. So I'm going to, I'm going to make sure they're taken care of. Uh, you can also see but they have a little chrome spacer right here, uh, which which uh, this one doesn't. Once you get it put together, this one doesn't have that chrome spacer. See, so it just you can see it just goes together. You can see the chrome spacer here. A uh, little fatter. The new ones are a little fatter. This one's this one's pretty slender, but it it still looks like it'll 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 fit in my hand well. Uh, but uh, you can see you can see the tip the uh, clicker there. I did notice too the the ink pen. You can see the little metal tip, the chrome tip on the on the ink pen versus the new one. The new ones don't have that. The only the only Parker jotters you see now with this chrome tip is the plastic. Is the plastic uh barrels. They have the they have the metal tip to reinforce the plastic. But I guess this was just put on here just to kind of dress it up some. I don't know for sure, but it does have the it does have the metal tip, chrome metal tip and a chrome metal little spacer here. Uh, makes a nice design. These have the company logo and it, it actually was a truck, trucking company that my, my daddy-in-law drove. He, he was an over the road trucker. So this was one of the trucking companies he, he drove for, I think for like 30 years. So he, or 20 years or whatever, they gave him this pin set. Uh, I have a Parker Jotter 
lead pencil. Really the only complaint I have with this lead pencil, this is a nice pencil, but the only thing is sometimes when you click it, you can't get the lead to come out. Uh, most of the time you can, but there's times you can't. And this is one made in France. This is a new one. I've had this in probably a year. Uh, I broke down and bought one last year. Uh, but uh, this one, this is the lead pencil. This is the USA made, and this is the one made in France. Uh, the lead comes out real good with it. It's real smooth. Uh, and that you can see on the clicker here, this one's got some engraving right here. This is the new one. But this one has the Parker Jotter logo on the inside here on this little indention. And it's the same way as the ink pen. It's, it's, It's uh, the American made's a little longer, and it's uh, the the mechanism on the inside is is different. You can see it's it's uh, it's a lot different actually. This is this is the new lead pencil, and this is what it looks like. This is the USA made one. This it's, it's simple looks like to me. Uh, you pull your eraser out, your lead's in there. Uh, the erasers looks like a little better quality, maybe not, but uh, this is the clicking device here. You have to pull this off, this metal tip off, to get to your eraser. And this is a good eraser too. I haven't had any issues. And then, then you take the you take the eraser off, and then that's how you get to your lead. A little different. They've they've changed it over the years. Uh, you know, I don't know what's what's the reason, but you know, hey, I ain't complaining. It, it's it's a pretty decent pencil. Like I said, I have a little issue with it with it with it clicking, uh, not getting the lead lead out lot every time. But this one seems to you know click the lead out a lot better. Uh, another thing too, you can see. The dimension, same thing as ink pen. The, let, the USA one is made, it's got brass in it. You can tell it, see, you can see the brass. Plastic, the France made one, the one made in France, the, the newer one, it's got, a, it's got a plastic insert in it with a thread. So that's another difference. And the USA one is, is smaller in diameter. Uh, so that's that's another difference I see in the in the uh, two lead pencils. Uh, this is the only, to my knowledge, this this full stainless steel lead pencil is the only lead pencil that Parker offers today. Uh, I wish they would offer them in colors like the pens. I think they would sell a lot. Uh, you know, because these Parkers come in a lot of different colors. Uh, I love this orange right here. I wish, I wish they would offer, I wish they would offer the, the lead pencils in a different, you know, in some different colors like they do the pens. And this, this is basically the set here. Uh, so, uh, a little different. There's some differences in the in the in the. Uh, there's some differences in the in the two, uh, with quality wise. The the today's version, the newer ones. They hey, they're good quality to me. They're 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 made good. Uh, I was just lucky enough to. I was lucky enough to get. I was lucky enough to to get these. From my father-in-law, you know, because I've I've actually looked at the American-made ones on eBay, and uh, you know, you see them on there. Uh, and I've I've seen a couple though. I almost pulled the trigger on and ordered them. Uh, but this is a nice set. It was a nice gift to my father-in-law, uh, and this is this is kind of comparing them. Uh, you know, the, the new ones, the new ones, um, like this, this pen, uh, 
I've been carrying, I've been carrying this one probably for a long, I mean, I don't know how many years. It's, it's been a while. It's, it's my first one. This one is the one that got me really interested in the joggers. It was gifted to me. Never owned a jogger before, jogger before then. I used, I used the cross pins and I'm going to do a review on my old cross pin that I lost and I refound. Uh, and I was using the zebra pins, the 301s. And then, like I said, my daughter gave me this one for Christmas or my birthday or whatever. So once I, once I picked it up and started carrying it, it's been my, it's been my EDC pen and EDC is everyday care for those of you that don't really know what that means, but this has been my go-to pen. So I kind of got, got interested in them. And so I ended up, you know, really going full blown Parker Jotter. I've got, I don't know, I probably got six or seven of these. I've got, you know, I've got the reds and the blues and the black and the green and I've got one of the London editions. I'll swap them out. I'll swap them out back and forth because I do do a lot of writing, but so, you know, I, I'm pretty blessed to get this, this, this set here. Uh, I'm going to I'm not going to carry it outside the house. You know, I may write with them some just to, you know, kind of enjoy them. Uh, but it's not going to be an EDC pen. I'm not going to risk losing them. It's going to be a keepsake. I'll probably eventually give it to, give it to my stepson because that's his, that's his grandfather. So I'll probably gift it to him eventually. But as far as carrying them, I mean, you know, if it wasn't, if it wasn't, um, you know, if these wasn't a gift and I bought them, I'd probably carry them because they're good quality. Uh, but these are good quality too. So uh, with that, just wanted to kind of share that. Uh, I don't know if any of you out there have a USA made jotter. Uh, and I, I, I think I had an XL. I had an XL and I lost it. Uh, I think what I've read is they're making the extra large jotters now in China. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of leery, you know, I wanted to get me another one, but, uh, I do like the ones made in France. Um, uh, you know, so I will keep buying them. Uh, if they start making all of them in China. I'll probably have to rethink it, but, uh, great pen. The new ones are great pen. They're a little different than the, than the older ones. Uh, and I, I'm going to do the, my next video on Parker Jotters. I'm going to do it on why I EDC and why. So I'm going to be specific on why I carry this pen and why I like this pen so much. And I'm going to compare it to some other pens, but I'm going to do it in my next video on why I like to EDC this ink pen or this ink pen. So, with that, uh, subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Hit the bell. That way you can be updated on a new video. If you have an American-made jotter, you know, put a comment. If you don't like jotters, you know, put a comment. That's that's fine. I'm not I'm not thin-skinned. This is, you know, people that comment. I you know I can learn. You know, maybe if you got a pen you like better, that's another good thing. But uh, just get you an ink pen and write. Just get you an ink pen and, and, and write in your journal. There's another one. That's my blue one. So get you an ink pen and write. Take notes. Uh, journal. It's a good thing. So with that, God bless you. Be safe out there. And looking forward to the next video. Thanks.